hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we connected the mysql database with our spring boot application and in today's video we will create the employee entity and a related file structure in spring boot so let's get started so first of all we need to create the employee entity and to do that we need to create a package first so we will right click here and we will choose new package and we will name this package as entity now we can right click on this entity package and we will choose new java class and we will name this class as employee and after this we need to annotate this class with at the rate entity annotation and we are using this entity annotation because we want to tell the spring boot that this is a gpa entity and after this to get the boilerplate code like getters and setters we need to annotate this class with at the rate data annotation from lombok and after this we need to mention the properties and the first property we want is the id so we will write private and the data type of this will be long and we can name this as id and to make this a primary key we need to annotate this with at the rate id annotation and after this we want this id to be auto incremented and to do that we need to give at the rate generated value annotation and for the strategy we will set it as generation type dot identity so whenever we will create an employee it will automatically increment one in the id and after this we need to store the name of the employee so we will write private and the data type of this will be string and we can name this as name and after this we need to store the email so we will duplicate the existing name property and we need to rename it to email and after this we need to store the phone number and for this we will write private string and we will name this as phone and after this we need to store the department of the employee so we will write private string department and with this our employee entity is completed and after this we need to create the repository so we will right click on this employee package and we will create a new package and we will name this as repository and now we will right click on this repository package and we will create a new java class and we will name this class as employee repository and from the options we will select interface and after this we need to annotate this class with at the rate repository annotation and after this we need to extend this class from jpa repository and here we need to mention our entity which is employee in our case and after the entity we need to give the data type of our primary key which is long in our case and with this our employee repository is completed now we need to create the service and first of all we need to create the package so we will right click on this employee package and we will create a new package here and we will name this as service now we will right click on this service package and we will create a new java class and we will name this as employee service and after this we need to annotate this class with at the rate service annotation now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors and we can see one sql log as well that the employee table got created in the database and that's it for this video in the next video we will create post employee api call